Hello everyone. Um, today I just wanted to talk about the uh, Sony XM3 uh, wireless noise cancelling headphones. Um, so these are very popular in the uh, noise cancelling headphone community and I got these about uh, six months back and I thought it's the right time to do a review about them. How is it to use on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, what are the pros? What are the cons? And uh, how exactly is it worth the 30,000 rupees that you pay for it? Right, so let's go into the video. So coming to the build quality, uh, these headphones are made completely out of plastic, but it is a very high quality plastic. Um, the buttons, uh, switches, uh, they all feel very tactile. And uh, the uh, headband itself uh, is cushioned. Uh, it comes with a nice comfy cushion. And also the ear cups, uh, they are also very uh, soft and plush. Um, there is articulation, uh, but it's limited to um, nine, like, you know, uh, it, it's not complete 180 degree articulation. Um, like, you, you can do it only one side, but you cannot do it the other side. So it's just limited to one direction. Uh, I don't know why Sony decided to go with that. That's a bit odd. Uh, also, it just moves a little bit here, uh, um, you know, and then um, if you see, it kind of uh, folds like this. Um, so this is uh, so that you can carry it in the case. Uh, there's a case that comes with this and uh, this uh, particular articulation assists in putting it in the case and carrying it safely. So overall, the build quality feels very nice and sturdy. Uh, it is quite flexible. Uh, and it's completely made of uh, plastic and also if you see uh, the sony logo is written in um, a copper accent and it um, you know also uh, carries on to these uh, uh, microphone arrays here that you can see that picks up the noise for noise cancelling um, that is a good touch it looks pretty cool when you wear it uh, over your ears so features wise um, you see that uh, this has a lot of features in it uh, first uh, uh, and foremost is a noise cancelling feature it is one of the best in the industry once you wear it you just shut off for the whole world um, it is so damn good and especially for long flights and travel uh, this is a very good option and um, it has got um, uh, a feature called um, adaptive ambient sound wherein uh, depending on where you are the noise cancelling adapts like if you're on a railway station uh, it'll uh, basically uh, turn up uh, I mean turn down the noise cancelling so that you can hear what the announcements are in an airport or on a railway station and you can also um, like when you're sitting down it's a little different and you can also adjust it via a Sony app that is provided in the Android and the App Store so you can basically um, you know fine tune it to your liking and it also comes with a couple of buttons here so one is the uh, power on and off and the other one is the uh, um, you know noise cancelling or ambient or it can be configured to uh, connect to your Alexa or uh, um, Google uh, assistant and it comes with NFC so you can just uh, tap it on any NF NFC enabled device and uh, get it connected right away and the best part is uh, you know uh, this particular headphone also comes with a 3.5 mm jack so in case uh, you want to connect to any device uh, uh, that has a headphone jack you can go ahead and connect it and also uh, the uh, battery is required for noise cancelling to work along with the 3.5 mm jack if the battery is down you can still use the headphones but the um, audio is a little bit lower and also you don't get noise cancelling the bluetooth connectivity with these headphones is uh, very uh, strong uh, there are two modes basically one um, you can it, that's in the app where you can select for it to have a continuous connection over sound quality or the other way around and it supports high res audio and it supports something called as ldac and also something called as uh, uh, dhex audio formats uh, which have uh, a very good uh, fidelity and uh, very good audio clarity compared to any other wireless headphones uh, it gives you near uh, uh, you know a near connected uh, kind of audio quality if you have high-res music uh, over wired connections you have that experience uh, delivered with these headphones 
and uh, the one thing about that is that is also configurable of course via the sony headphones app that you get um, and you also have software updates uh, that is available for these headphones uh, um, when i bought these there was uh, there was a version upgrade um, and it happens over bluetooth the data is transferred and the headphones can update it make sure that your battery is at least above 30 percent when you do that so uh, when we talk about the battery lives of this headphone uh, my day-to-day -day use uh, has been uh, pretty like you know heavy i use the most of the time connected to my macbook pro or my uh, um, phone and i uh, listen to them all the while they are very comfy and uh, they can be used for longer durations and the battery definitely lasts for about 30 hours as advertised uh, they have a very very good battery life um, even i was surprised uh, that it uh, it lasts for so long after you know continuous usage and uh, you kind of you know hardly charge it uh, maybe once or twice in a week uh, depending on your usage and uh, if you use it sparingly maybe you can just get them to work maybe for five days also even without a charge um, so that's the best part and with noise cancelling i'm telling that it gives you 30 hours and without noise cancelling it gives you even more and uh, the one drawback with this uh, headset i would say is that it doesn't connect to multiple bluetooth devices at the same time uh, you know that's not a big deal breaker but yeah it's a convenience that's uh, nowadays available in most of the bluetooth headphones where you can connect to more than one device um, but here it's not available you need to switch off and switch on and connect to it um, these headphones also can be used to make and um, take calls uh, but um, you know the audio quality is okay-ish for the uh, listener on the other end it's not great but it is not bad as well uh, one thing you need to remember is it uh, switches off noise cancellation the moment it uh, uh, detects that it's receiving a call uh, but um, what you can do is you can always press this button to enable the noise cancelling or uh, the ambient mode um, also the other thing i noted with them is that um, they don't have physical buttons for the uh, play pause uh, only physical buttons available are these two that is for the ambient sound and the power rest everything is connected via this particular um, touchpad so this is a complete touchpad area uh, what you can do here is uh, you can swipe for music next and uh, previous you can swipe up for volume up and down I mean swipe down for volume down also you can hold your um, entire palm on the headset here on this area uh, so that you know it switches off noise cancelling completely and enhances the outside noise so that you can hear what the other person is talking so that's a pretty cool feature and it's very instant you hold it here and then it just switches off the noise cancelling and uh, I keep saying that the audio quality is uh, very good on these headphones. What does it actually translate to? So let me put it this way, right? So um, the mids, lows and highs, all the frequency ranges are heard very clearly on them. And it has a very good and uh, strong bass also. So overall, if you're a person who likes a lot of bass, uh, you're going to be satisfied. And if you like uh, listening to a lot of jazz music uh, where you don't need a lot of bass, you're also not going to be disappointed. Uh, they are very good for all genres of music. And uh, uh, when you're watching videos on YouTube or on, um, uh, you know, on your phone or on your computer, uh, so it takes care of the uh, lag. Uh, there, there, there is a kind of a synchronization that happens um, which makes sure uh, that the audio and the visual is in sync and you don't have a kind of a lagging audio um, which you have in certain Bluetooth headsets where the person is talking but you hear the audio a little uh, later. So that kind of a problem is not there and it is... Uh, uh, very fluidly synchronized with the audio that you see on the screen versus what you hear so that that is something I liked a lot about them so the other best part about this is that you know it has a USB type-c charger here uh, which is not even there in many of the newer Bluetooth headsets it's it's actually an amazing thing because I can connect my phone my tablet and my headphones and my computer everything with the same dongle so the dongle that you use for MacBook Pro you can I mean the power cord that you use for a MacBook Pro that's a type-c card you can use it for this as well so that's a very good convenience um, I would say that you have here and um, you know less clutter you can just carry one cable and get it all done and uh, in terms of charging i think it takes about half an hour to an hour to get fully charged and uh, 
you have that uh, 30 hours of battery life for you uh, but it's very quick to charge as well and i've pretty much used it in most of the power cords i've even used it with the macbook power cord and it works it charges uh, without any issues but the thing is when it is charging you cannot listen to music it turns off automatically right so let me just quickly show you the case that it came along with uh, so this is the case it's a very nice and sturdy case uh, uh, it also has this copper accent over here so you can open it and uh, see this is the case and um, this is the uh, folding mechanism for it that I showed you earlier that you need to put, uh, fold in order to use this case and it's got this um, uh, two pin connector usually that you get on older flights uh, to connect to and uh, you also have a very uh, uh, tiny USB type C cable which is of not much use and you also have the uh, 3.5 mm jacks uh, so these are uh, these are common 3.5 mm jacks so you can use it with any um, 3.5 mm jacks right so that's about you get with the box and uh, it's very easy to carry around as well also another little information is that uh, these headphones use atmospheric pressure to adjust your noise cancellation so if you press and hold uh, you know it uh, kind of recalibrates noise can cancellation based on your environment um, so there i saw that there was an uh, option where it actually measures the atmospheric pressure in order to you know provide those noise cancelling effects to you and it pretty much is amazing uh, uh, that you know these headphones have all these uh, uh, you know uh, what do you say usage of tech to make sure that the noise cancelling is uh, so perfect so that's something that i observed and apart from that, uh, the Sony headphone connect app is used maybe only once, maybe to update the software and to set your preferences. And after that, you know, you never really go back to it because you pretty much control everything with these uh, button. I mean, there's one particular button here itself. And uh, you don't have a need for that app on your phone uh, anytime. You, everything is handled within the headphones itself. There are a few things that I would like to tell you that um, I had observed and have been using in a particular way as opposed to advertised. So for example, uh, they say that the uh, uh, Google Assistant and Alexa can connect with this one particular button here. Uh, but the problem with that is once you do that, uh, you lose out on the noise cancelling and ambient feature modes. You can only use it for um, Alexa and uh, Google Assistant. So for that, what I have observed is it's not needed basically. You can leave it to the default setting where you can turn on and off the noise cancelling or the ambient mode. And you can directly use the touchpad with a long press. So when you do a long press, it automatically invokes Alexa for you or the Google Assistant, or if you're connected to a MacBook Pro Siri or to an iPhone that is a Siri itself again. So the long press uh, enables the assistant for you and then you can go ahead with the same voice commands like you want to play music on Spotify or whatever it is. You don't need to assign it to a particular button here. And similarly, when you want to answer a call, you just need to tap it once and you double tap to disconnect the call. It's as easy as that. And uh, apart from that, it doesn't have a seek feature. So you, if you press and hold it uh, uh, for the next or the previous one, it just goes to the next and previous song. It doesn't seek to a particular location. Uh, that feature is not there, right? And uh, when you go into the uh, Sony Connect headphone app, uh, you have another thing called as 360 degree audio. So that gives you a surround sound effect, uh, basically uh, uh, based on um, where the sound is originating from uh, in a 360 degree space. Um, that's an interesting feature, but I don't use it that much uh, because there aren't many apps other than the few ones that Sony uh, sh uh, shares like Nugget and all those kind of apps which have 360 degree audio support. But yes, uh, they do sound excellent when you uh, listen to it you know you actually feel that you are actually in that particular concert uh, or that hall where that particular sound is being played so that is a pretty cool feature but not that often used uh, so overall are these headphones worth the money yes they definitely are though they are pretty steep uh, so in india it costs about 30000 rupees um, they are worth the money and uh, these are to be honest the best noise cancelling headphones you get out there in the market today
period and for that reason they are definitely worth the money and they are long lasting uh, and um, i can pretty much say they are comfortable to use also on a day to day basis uh, the thing is if you do try to purchase them via online mediums like amazon or flipkart there are offers running so you sometimes pretty much get it for even uh, less than uh, 20000 rupees if you find the right deal and the combination of credit card discounts so overall i would say you know these are worth the money and um, if you can find a good discount on them even better so the other thing is um, i would like to say that uh, this video was made uh, without a script and uh, uh, i have uh, tried to cover as much as i can hope you like the format and if you find there are any suggestions any improvements to be made uh, please go ahead and add it in the description and if you need any more details also go ahead and mention them in the uh, comments sorry not the description go and add and add them in the comments uh, so thank you for watching the video and uh...